Hello, in this video we'll be looking at Linux storage space and when I say your Linux storage space how much space is being used and how you can try and reduce that. Now one thing you need to bear in mind on my particular Chromebook I do this quite often anyway so you won't necessarily see any differences so I can't show you that after you've done this you'll see this decrease because I generally keep my my container clean anyway but i'm going to show you how you do it so the first thing when first thing to think about when we're looking at linux storage we're talking about reducing space so it's good to understand what that actually means so on here for example i've got 62 gigabytes 62.7 gigabytes available now i can go in and reduce as much as i want to from my linux storage that isn't going to change that availability there. And that's because the Linux container, you give it a size and you set that size. So it's what what's inside that Linux container. So here you can see it's 90 gigabytes. So what this video is about is how much of that 90 gigabyte is being used. So I'll show you the command to look for that. But even say if there's only half of that being used, so there's 45 gigabyte being used, if I then reduce that down to say 30 gigabyte, it's not going to change this availability. The only way you're going to change this availability is first reducing your Linux storage down to what it should be, running the commands that I'll show you as well. And then once you've done that, you can then reduce your Linux container size from here. And once you've done that, you will then have more availability here. So that's the one thing to bear in mind. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to open up a terminal and then click on Penguin like that. And then when you've done that from there, and we'll just maximize this. Okay, so the first thing, it's always a good idea whenever you're going to do anything on your Chromebook with Linux, and you should do this from time to time anyway, it just cleans things up. So the first one is sudo apt update and hit return and then sudo apt upgrade. Those two commands you should be doing on a regular basis anyway. Like I said, I always do these commands quite often anyway. If you haven't done them for a while, you may have had when you did that second one, it might have been a slightly longer list and it would have said yes to continue. You just want to hit yes to continue and hit return. And that's the, always a good thing to do every, every so often when you're using Linux. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do, we want to see how much of that 90 gigabyte I've got for the Linux container is being used. So to do that, it's sudo and then it's du space, hyphen shc space and then forward slash and then or back to slash I think it's forward slash hit return and now you see here it's showing that i'm using 39 gigabyte of storage okay so from there we know we could comfortably reduce this down from 90 gigabytes to 39 gigabyte, 40 gigabyte. But I'm gonna show you something else in a bit. I've not done it, but I'm gonna do it. But I'll show you that afterwards. I just wanna show you this first because this is what's strange. Although it's saying there's 39 gigabyte being used, I'm not truly convinced that's the case, but that's the command that you'd run to see overall how much is being used. So now what I'm gonna do now is just to show you the commands that you can use to remove any old packages that are no longer being used. So these are unused packages. So when I say packages, I'm not talking about your apps. It will not affect the apps that you've got installed, your Linux apps installed. It's just that when you install apps, it has to download different packages, different libraries, and it all just sits there and it may no longer be in use. So to get rid of them, you may not have any, but if you've not done this and you've been using your Linux for a long time without cleaning anything up, you could have quite a few. So it's sudo, um apps and then auto remove like that and then hit return and then that will do that okay some people may do sudo apps get auto remove they're both the same so i i personally don't use the get but you can use either and that's fine and then from there you want to remove old downloaded files which are 
no longer used as well. It's just a different command. I'm not 100% sure why the different commands. They obviously do different things, but you can do both of these commands and that's absolutely fine. And that's that done. And then as you can see, like I says, these are showing none on mine. So that's why I'm not expecting to see any difference. But if you've used yours for quite a long time without doing this, you could see that there's more being done here. Okay, and the last one is sudo apt clean. Now clean, from my understanding, is that it's just cleaning up what could still be used. So it's within the cache. So it doesn't necessarily get rid of things that are no longer being used. It may get rid of things that make things faster. So you might not want to use this, but there's no problem using it. It's absolutely fine. And then hit return. Okay, so now we've done that, we can run that command again to see if it's reduced. And I don't think it will do, but I'll show you anyway. And there we go. On mine, it's still showing as 39 gigabyte. But I think on yours, if you've done it, it could show a lot lower. But what I want to show you, and this is what's quite bizarre, is we know it's roughly 39 gigabytes that's being used on your Linux container. But if we exit out of this and close this down and go to files. I won't go this way. I've showed you this way already, doing it that way. I'll show you the other way to get to it in case you want to know. There, then into your settings, and then advanced, not advanced, sorry, go down here. Um, storage management, go to storage management. That's another way of getting it from your systems menu. Okay, so, this is what I find quite strange. It was saying there's 39 gigabyte being used, but if you go into your Linux storage here where you can, and then disk size here, 90 gigabyte and change that, you can increase this. It's currently on 90 gigabyte. I could increase it to 152 gigabyte, or it's suggesting I could decrease it to 33.2 gigabytes. Now it's not gonna suggest that I can reduce it to less than I can because that would make no sense why why would they do that so you would have if we was using that command it was suggesting 39 gigabyte but I don't think that's truly I think there's something else there that it can be reduced by because it's saying we can get it down to 33.2 gigabytes so let's do that we won't go right down well no we will we'll go right down we'll reduce it to 33.2 gigabytes now I'll just put it up a little bit to 34.6 so that's still a lot lower than the 39 gigabyte you've said being used and I'll resize and that's done so that's really bizarre because that shows you that there is it wasn't truly 39 gigabyte being used it could be lower so one way of checking although I just showed you that one way to check with a command how much is being used I would suggest the easiest way is just to go in here click change and just go down to the lowest one and then you'll know that's how much is being used. It might not be the most technical way of doing it, but it, it does work. And bearing in mind, I've got Windows installed on here using a virtual machine and I've got Steam and I've got other stuff as well. So I'd expect to have quite a bit used for that. So if we go back in here now and run that command again, now we've reduced it, uh, we just, uh, just showed you. If we do sudo space du space hyphen has h s h c space forward slash and then hit return it's still showing 39 gigabytes so that's quite bizarre so although that command is supposed to show you how much is being used and that is a linux command there's obviously something quite bizarre with that because as you've just seen i've reduced my linux container size to 34, um, 34.6. So although you can use them Linux commands if you want to, and they are good to use because it is good to get used to using Linux commands. With the Chromebook, you could just essentially go there, go to change, 
and whatever it's putting at the lowest that's you know how much you can roughly use and that's how much you can reduce it by obviously do bear in mind and this is why i was hesitant to put it right to the bottom you still want to have some space for linux because if you're using linux or you want to install new apps you still want some space but it is a good guide so i'm just going to put that up to 40 roughly 45 gigabyte for now hit resize so i've now reduced it from 90 gigabyte to 45.8 all of my apps will still work absolutely fine and what that means is now is if we go into here that overall availability is now a lot more so it, it's a good thing to do you could argue didn't really need to have them with linux commands just do it that way absolutely right but i'm just showing you the linux commands because that's what you do when you're using linux overall why it's a bit different I, I really don't know but i hope you like this video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching